Good afternoon, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Pisces, I'm going to be using the after tarot deck, all right? Uh, not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs. So just keep that in mind throughout this reading. And yeah, let's do uh, two more shuffles for you guys. Two more shuffles for Pisces. All right. There's one. And there's two. Whoop. That one wasn't right. Let me shuffle again. One more time. Sorry about that. Oh, that one was even worse. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Finally. Good shuffle. All right. So, Pisces, let's pull some cards. All right. So, you got the Emperor card. You have the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Empress, and the Magician card. So, let me back that up so you guys can. All right. Cool. All right, so you have the Emperor Reverse here. So you could be dealing with Aries, possibly an Aquarius. You have the Queen of Swords here. So you're definitely paying attention to um, the little things because in this Queen of Swords, um, in this deck anyway, um, she's like looking at the butterfly that's on the tip of her sword. So this is someone that's very, like, that thinks straight, that knows when to act and when not to, and when to talk and when not to, basically. Um, they are very intelligent, but right now they're just appreciating the small things, like the small things in life, right? Uh, you, they're, they're, <laughs> you could have a boss type figure that doesn't really act like a boss or someone that has, like, a hard time being controlling or, like being a boss uh in your life uh, you have the four of wands here which represents a relationship but so you could be open to a relationship with this emperor reverse or this empress reverse or maybe they maybe they're an aries but they have like a lot of earth in their chart um either way in this Four of Wands card, it's there's so much growth and happiness in this card that I feel like if you were to get into a relationship, it is going to be a healthy relationship just based on like that card alone. Because it's just like there's so much growth, so much happiness. Like everyone's happy, everyone's eating good. There's you know, there's movement forward, all right? There, there's like a little chariot in there in the card and it, it's being pulled by two oxes or uh, cows um but yeah it's just there's movement forward there's a weight there's happiness it, it seems like a really good situation and over here you have the six of wands which is all about celebration and the empress is also in that card so you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign or an or, or a fire sign um but this person doesn't if the, you are dealing with an earth sign this person uh doesn't feel like an empress see how the empress is in reverse they kind of feel like that like ugly duckling not to like put in like that perspective or anything but like you see how there's all these swans and like the uh the goslings you know they're all white and then the odd one out isn't in, in the picture so she kind of feels left out or just doesn't feel like herself you know she kind of just wants to be alone doesn't really want to be in a relationship but will be in a relationship if you know there's an offer there uh, you do have the Magician Reverse here, so it does look like you're going to have a hard time manifesting this relationship if that's what you want, but it can be done. You just got to manifest it in the right way. Uh, your Crown Chakra could be blocked or their Crown Chakra could be blocked, and uh, having a hard time listening to their intuition or your intuition 
uh, whatever it is. Let me uh, clarify the magician card. Why is the magician card in reverse? Why is uh, Pisces having a hard time manifesting in the month of January? Why is Pisces having a hard time manifesting in the month of January? Or what is Pisces trying to manifest in the month of January? One more shuffle. Oh. Okay, that card went flying. The Knight of Swords reversed. And in this deck, the Knight of Swords is fighting someone. But it's in reverse, so maybe there was a fight in the past. So maybe this is like someone that you want to apologize to. Um, possibly an air sign, because you do have double swords here. You have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Um, but yeah, maybe you got into a fight with this person, and you kind of just want to apologize to them because um, you didn't mean you know, what they said, what you said, you kind of just want to reconcile and be friends again, or be in a relationship again, right? Uh, let's, let's do some clarifying on this six of wands. What is um, Pisces trying or wanting to celebrate? What is Pisces wanting to celebrate? One more shuffle, one more shuffle. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so you could be celebrating about a new job. You have this, you have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. So maybe you're getting a new job in the month of uh, January, which is going to help you with finances and bring a lot of income towards you. So you're just you're happy, you know, you just, you found a job after so long and, and you're wanting to celebrate a little bit, right? Or this could be like someone giving you a gift. Uh, we Christmas just ha uh, happened and Hanukkah just happened. So like um, happy, you know, holidays, if whatever you celebrate. Um, I should have mentioned that in the, in the beginning, but uh, maybe that, the, maybe it's just portraying something and that happened in December, either that or you're getting an actual gift in the month of uh, January and, you know, you're just having fun, you're relaxing, you know, you, you're happy, but you're not satisfied. You're not quite satisfied because you do have the Nine of Cups in reverse here. So with the Nine of Cups in reverse, meaning you're happy, but at the same time, you're not 100% satisfied with what's going on in your situation you know maybe you feel like you deserve more because maybe in the past you've had this a similar job like this before but you were getting more or or like they had better uh resources whatever it was you know you're not completely satisfied but you're you're happy that you have a job that you're you know you're appreciating the finer things not or the, like the little things that they can offer, right? So let's see what advice. What advice does Pisces have for the month of January? What advice does Pisces have for the month of January? I will be using the uh, chakra cards as well. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, uh, Alright, so you have communication is key. A new romantic cycle uh, begins, and conclusions are within reach. All right, so yeah, if you are wanting to get into a relationship during the month of January, now is like, or January is the best time to do it. It looks like it's going to be really good. Anything that you want to end or any cycles that are needing to end, uh, in the month of January or in the month of December will end in January for sure. Um, and if you, you got to really speak up when it comes to your job, because if you don't speak up, then you can't, um, then they won't know what's wrong or whatever it is. You know, maybe uh, this is a raise and 
you really want to raise, but at the same time, you don't want to be that guy or that person, right? You don't want to be that person asking for a raise, like you're greedy or whatever. Or maybe they promised a bonus and you're wondering why you haven't gotten a bonus yet. You know, just communicate. Talk to this person or talk to your boss and really ask them what's going on. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius, like I said before, or an Aries, all right? Possibly a Virgo, all right? Let's see what energy cards you guys are dealing with. What energy cards are you guys dealing with, all right? One more shuffle, one more shuffle. All right, all right, all right. Meditation. So, meditate and you have truth. All right. So, really meditate during the month of January and try your best to open up those chakras and maybe even do some yoga. Like, really relax your body and, you know, just become less tense. You know, if you need to go get a massage, go get a massage. You know, um, there will be truth here. So, uh, the truth will come out of the situation whether or not um you know you did have a fight in the past with someone uh, and the truth is going to come out about that whether it's from you or this person and it's going to really put some more clarity on the situation and it and it could spark a new relationship with the person or a friendship uh whatever it is all right so, Pisces, I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right. <laughs>